but a little bit less noise now with the welding machine turned off so let's try that again hey everybody <laughs> and i did it with the wrong hand so anyway uh i started on a new project and i've been doing it bits and pieces here and there and everywhere and a little at a time so i thought you know am i going to make a video showing how it's made and so I don't know as i got to going along with it i started on it you can see i've got part of the frame here on the table i thought i'm not going to show all the little bits and details but i got to thinking while i'm at the beginning of the project i'm going to show just little bits of it instead of showing the whole build before we take it out into the woods because a lot of people are interested in this kind of stuff and and how these things come about so First off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down what my original idea was on a piece of paper. So before I even get into this. And uh, so let's let's go to the drawing board or notepad and, and let me scribble a few things. Here. You that have followed my channel, you know that in the past I had um, a, a bushcraft bicycle. And that was that bicycle where uh, I added on that back part to where uh, I could carry cargo over our third wheel um that thing it was limited to about 50 pounds and the bicycle itself was kind of limited because it was only like a 10 speed or a 12 speed and so i thought well maybe i'm gonna get a bike that's more of a like a mountain bike and it's got like 21 speeds that way i'll be, I'll be able to go up the hill better so i also got to thinking i thought i, I need one and nick needs one so i'm gonna do something different and I've been going over this for about six months in my mind thinking after the first deal with the first bicycle. And I've come up with an idea and the idea just sort of has developed on its own and, 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 and done different things. So let's look over here at the drawing board right here and we'll see if I can do some explaining. Okay, now you see this word right here? Travoy. Okay. It's pronounced Travoy. Okay, now what that is is years ago you used to have people, okay, Here's a stick figure walking. And what they had is they had two pieces of wood behind them with a piece of, piece of cloth over it. And what they would do is they would walk and they would drag it behind them and they would have all of their uh, stuff piled up on this thing right here. And another thing that they would do is they would also have, um, they would also have uh, pack mules. Let's see if we can draw a pack mule. <laughs> or a donkey. And they would have this strap to it, okay? And they would have all this gear piled on it. Well, I got to thinking to myself, I thought, well, now, why not have some kind of a travoy for a bicycle? And so what I have came up with is, is okay, you have the, well, let's see, this, that magic marker's dying. <laughs> all right, you have, let's say that you've got a bicycle here, okay? Let's see. Let's go like this right here. All right, let's say that you got a bicycle here. And what I was thinking about doing is mounting a rod end right here and then having a bicycle and having it go down like this, a frame, and having it where you could drag and you could pile all of your stuff on here and strap it down. Well, one thing led to another, and I thought, well, this is stupid. Instead of dragging it, why not put some big giant bicycle wheels? But then I thought, well, I don't really want to go that route. So then I found some uh, wheels off of scooter i'll show them to you in a minute and mount them to it and then i thought why not weld a little leg on here so that it'll be almost like you're pulling a, a set of hand trucks behind you then i thought why not add some extra ones on here so that you can unhook it and turn it upside down once you're in camp and use it as some kind of a table or possibly even a bed the bed idea is out because i can't it'll this would be too heavy to pull the bicycle if I made it strong enough for a bed, but I think I can still use it as a table. And then another thing too, as I thought about, it, if you could detach it, you could use it for when you're gathering up firewood. Say a person could carry it. <laughs> I'm not one much for drawing. They could carry it for firewood. So that's the idea behind this so let's watch and, and see as it develops so now what i did just like last time is i'm recycling and what this is is this is an old folding chair right here and i had three of them we had replaced them now this is what's left of one of them 
you can tell that I've taken the front pieces out of it right here, and then I've taken the, the, the cloth off of it. But now the other piece, the other chair, this is what's left of the other chairs, all the pieces of tubing. And then this thing, this is the frame that I've built so far. It's going to be very, very, very lightweight. All right. And then I'm going to go along and I'm going to show you a few of the other ideas for this thing. And then the wheels, I'm in the process of welding this up now. Now the wheels, they're not necessarily off a skateboard, but you know those, those, those things that are, uh, I can't remember the name of it now, razors, those little razor scooters with the two wheels. Well, one time when Nick had a razor about 10 years ago, and he wanted to change the wheels to some kind of a fancy, expensive wheel, and so I didn't throw these away, I kept them, but these things roll. When it comes to a bicycle, a bicycle has a spindle and it's greased with ball bearings and it's not real high quality, but these are true high speed bearings that are in this thing right here. So these things should be great. And along the lines of a Travoy, if, if it drags over the ground or drowns, drags over the logs, it's not that big of a deal, but most of the time these things will be spinning. And it may be a mistake, maybe it needs big bicycle wheels, but in my mind, I'm thinking these little jewels right here are gonna do good for what, for what I want it to do. Okay, so as we go along, I'm not gonna, this is not gonna be a complete build video. I'm just kind of showing you what I've done as it goes along because for me, I think it's pretty cool to take something that should wind up in a scrapyard or a landfill like this, this old chair. See, here's part of the frame off of it. And then here's part of the actual seat off of it. But I think it's cool to take stuff like this and turn it into something useful. And one other thing that I want to show you about. Well, I'll pull the camera down and show as you. As I pan around frame. on this here, it's got a, it's got this slope right here that's going to be for like, not only is it going to be for uh, the, the curved handle grips, but the way it's got this curve, it's going to give me a little bit of extra room to go up over the tire. Now, if you look at the rest of this stuff right here, what I've done is you can see that these, the side panels are perfectly straight. Okay. They're perfectly straight. They're sitting flat on the thing. Well, the chair actually had a kind of a curve to it. And so I thought to myself, the curve would work out nice for, because you can see it's, it's almost touching right over here, but it's got a curve to it. I thought not only would the curve give me a good place to put maybe a bungee cord or some rope for tying on the uh, whatever cargo I'm going to have, but it's also going to be to where it's curved. This is flat and this is flat. But this being curved and this being curved and this being curved, it'll actually give it a little bit of strength to where it won't want to bend this away. All right. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to um, I'm going to finish doing all of the welding, and uh, because it's just all cut and fit and welding, it ain't that big of a deal. I'm going to do that, and. Uh, then when I get done with that, we're going to move on to the next step that I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, okay? But I just I just kind of want to show you bits and pieces as the project goes along, okay? And then we're going to take it all out in the woods and see how it works. <laughs> That'll be the fun part. Now, I'm fitting more tubing together right here than I'm going to weld. And to get a better fit, I'm going to use a technique called fish mouthing. All right, so what I'm going to do is set this in the vise here of my milling machine. And then I'm going to cut into it with a cutter. Right. Now that I've done that, see this is what the tubing looks like now. So see, now it's going to fit on here perfect. See? Perfect fit. There won't be much of a gap in there. Easier to weld. The last step for today is I have two sets right, right here for the top and the bottom. It's going to be like the supports. And what I'm going to do is the way this was fish mouthed is I'm going to weld this here. I'm going to weld this here, and then I'm going to weld this onto here. All right. And what that'll be is that'll be a place like a, 
almost like the bottom of a, um, how should I say, almost like the bottom of a hand truck. Okay, I'm going to put one here, and then I'm going to put one up here at the, uh, let's see, can you see, and then I'm going to put one up here at the top. Just like that. And see, not only will I have a place up here for uh, bungee cords and things to tie on to, but if I've got one at the top and one at the bottom, then that'll also be like, uh, that'll be the legs for like if I want to flip it upside down and make a table out of it. So, all right. <laughs> it's all for today. I'm going to weld it up tomorrow. And uh, I think once all the welding is done, and then I'm going to show you another step that I'm going to do that I've changed my mind on. <laughs> all right, so I got the bottom part welded on <clears throat> so that it's kind of like a set of hand trucks. And now I just got to weld the top part on right here so that it'll sit like a table. So I got these welded up. I just got to add them right here. <laughs> TIG welded. Now the frame is done. got to do is paint it now without the wheels and the canvas covering that I'm going to do so far I can hold it up with one finger very lightweight that's key here's the frame painted Now it turns out that it weighs uh, six pounds. Six pounds ain't bad for a bicycle frame, a uh, bicycle trailer. And I painted it with some good Rust-Oleum color stainless steel, mainly because that's the color of the bicycle and I have a whole case of this stuff. <laughs> One other touch. Up here on the top, I have a couple of caps that were on the ends of the chairs. So what I'm going to do now, just aim you down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these caps on here. Kind of give it a neat professional look to cover up these ends. All right. <clears throat> now down on the bottom here, this bottom axle is drilled and tapped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw the uh, wheels on and then I'm going to make the cover for it. Now originally what I was going to do is I was going to cover this back side and the bottom with sheet metal. But what I'm going to do is to make it weigh even less, I'm going to cover it with a cover that I'm going to make. And the cool part about that is it's going to be multi-purpose. Instead of having extra weight of metal, it'll have the cover on it and I can take that cover off and I'm going to design it to where I can stuff it with leaves and use it for a bed if I have to. <laughs> Ain't that neat? All right, so here's the cloth piece that I made. And what it is, is it's actually a piece of uh, tubing, like, or a big tube made out of a, a heavy canvas. And that way what it can do is I can either string this thing up somehow between this webbing and use it as a seat or like a partial bed, or I can stuff the inside of it with leaves or grass and make a bed out of it. Now the way this thing works is I'm going to put the frame right here. Take paracord and I'm going to stretch it real tight just like this. All right. So I'm going to tie this up and then I'll cut you back on. Now ain't that neat? 
it's starting to look like something now. As you can see, what I've done is I pulled it over, and then I've tied the series of paracord all through it, stretching it good and tight. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do on the end right here. I made another piece of tubing. So let's see. Like that. Slide over the end. Just like that. All right. <clears throat> see, now I still got a place right here exposed where I can tie off on the end. Isn't that cool? The only thing left now is to carry it outside and test it. For it. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. All right, over here, we gotta look back to look forward. Now, this is the bicycle that y'all were familiar with last time. Uh, I did a complete build. Now, this bicycle has its limitations, okay? It has its limitations on room and its limitations on weight. Because I really only feel good with about maybe 40 to 50 pounds on it. But the thing about this bicycle that makes it so limited is it's a 12 speed. And as I've discovered, this is just good on flat land. When you start getting into something real hilly, you really need a 21 speed. So, fast forward to my 21 speed. Alright. This is a, like a, I don't know, 97 or a 98 Univega Rover 21 speed. With a chrome molly frame. And as you can see, for its age... It's in good shape. So I don't want to, I didn't want to paint this thing. So I just, I left the factory silver on it, which is another reason why I painted the trailer silver. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you what my idea is here. So what we're going to do, and another thing is once you at, at, was at camp at this other bicycle, it took wrenches and things. It took a lot of, a lot of hassle to remove this part here. But I wanted something you could remove it if you had to. So. Let's go, cat. There you go. All right, now, the idea behind this thing is is you can remove it, all right? We're going to take it out in the woods later on, but I just want to get it while I got Nick here and controlling the camera. He can get a, we can get a better of idea of looking at this thing. Now, total weight of this thing, six pounds, all right? It's got a cloth covering that you can remove, and I've weaved it in with paracord nice and tight, and then I've got that thing on the bottom, all right? Now, the idea behind this is if the bicycle won't get to your campsite, you can remove this from the bicycle and just take your gear and just walk it down the hills or turn around and carry it wherever you're going. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And then mm -hmm. the other beauty of this thing is once you build your shelter, you can flip it over and it becomes a table of sorts. Now, whether this will be a bed in the future, I don't know. I don't know if it's quite strong enough. I'd have to figure out a way of bracing up in the middle and possibly put another piece of cloth up here so that it's a raised pillow area, which is a, an, another added bonus. All right, so let's take a closer look at this bicycle here. Now, if you come over here, the only addition to this bicycle can be removed easily. This is a piece of plastic, and I, have, I bored a hole in it at an angle and put it on the bicycle seat, and then this is a rod end or what is known as a heim joint. So what you do now is take a piece of steel, slide it through the heim joint, it's drilled and tapped on each end. Now this is gonna give you 360 degree movement. Okay, isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. All right, you with me? I got two pieces of PVC plastic taped up and then I've got two homemade T-nuts, all right, to screw in. So what you do is you drag this thing, check this out. You drag this thing behind here all right, what you do, this should be, oh, you, I got to put the spacers on. You want to put these spacers on right here to keep this thing from flopping back and forth. So you slide the spacers on, and you got this right here sticking out. What you want to do, this may take a minute, is you want to, let's put one end in. It's got a hole here. You run this through. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this thing lined up here. It's kind of a tight fit. 
there's All ever right. a more perfect scene for Jeopardy music, it's right here. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, now let's line this up. All right, so two screws and you have your trailer attached. Okay, now, <clears throat> just like a any other kind of a trailer, uh, you don't want to, there's a thing called tongue weight, and you don't want all the weight on the tongue of it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put weight on the bottom as much as possible because if you can get enough weight down here it'll kind of lift a little if you put all of it up here it's going to kind of bow down a little bit so here's what i had in mind see this amount of gear here could you imagine carrying that on a backpack nope i'd make you do it i <laughs> know you would it just ain't possible so what we're going to do is i'm going to load this stuff up here now i originally built this thing with these like this so i could use uh I could attach the paracord to it, or bungees, or I could attach it to the paracord here, or to the webbing. But, amongst ob observing, I think I found out that what I can do is, let's see here, I'm going to put this backpack up here, set it just like that, and then this thing right here has got the most weight in it, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down on the bottom right here. Okay, so we're gonna put this here. Now what I'm gonna do is the next part, we're gonna grab some of these bungees. And these bungees are always handy in camp. So I'm gonna scoot this down a little bit and click one on there, clip one in the middle, and then clip one on the side. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is take this one on the side right here. Let's see, take that one on the side and I'm going to cross over to this side. See? Take this one, cross over to the side. Clip it on. Alright. And then the one in the middle, for security, let's clip it right here. Alright. And then I have three here. So let's see how this works. Let's put one under here. Hold that down. Put one up top. And the other thing about this is I can remove, and this will keep this stuff from flopping all around to the side. Mm -hmm. I can uh, remove this cover if it gets really bad muddy and wash it, which is neat. So, let's take this. So now, now I'm completely secured, and if I wanted to, I could lay an axe on top of it. I could put an axe over in here. I could put a machete over here. I could probably, I could probably put another bundle right here. Now, as you'll see, the way the rod in here works, as you can see, can you see that on camera, Nick? See, it's got a ball, a spherical ball in it. And that way you've got complete movement and the tire never touches and you could do good good circles with it so i'm gonna try to ride around the yard with it now right up and down the hill right there and see how it does <laughs> all right are you ready yep and the fact that this thing is a 21 speed is a-okay i should be able to climb hills with ease with this amount of weight i'm gonna partially follow you around to try and avoid the large swath of mosquitoes that have been swarming me you're wondering why the camera's shaking. I'm swatting them. All right. How's it looking so far? Dude? Good. Right. Or uh, wheels off wheels for uh, scooters. Well, they got high speed bearings. Man, that is wonderful. With the 21 speed like that, I ain't even got to get off the seat. I'm going to go up the hill one more time. Let's try that once more. Oh, <laughs> I think it's going to be great. What do you think? Looks great already. All right. I need to put a little stob on that pedal right there, though. Can you throw me that piece of wood? Yeah. I might have to put a stob on it like I have that one. Said throw it. Yeah. There was there's too much cut off of that thing. 
All right, now what I'm looking at, that wheel is touching right there. It's touching that bungee cord. So I'm gonna have to watch for that. But other than that, yeah. It was touching a bunch. Other than that, I think it's a success. I think it's awesome. Mm -hmm. I think it's great. <laughs> and see, the reason I didn't use the reason I didn't use uh, small bicycle tires or lawnmower wheels is because those little things right there have got super high speed bearings on them. And uh, I don't know. In the future, I may have to go with bigger wheels. I'm just gonna have to test it and see. So. Next time you see, we're going we're going to go out in the woods, and I may put a little bit more weight on it. But with those bungees, I just I think it's going to be great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All righty. Next time you see me, we'll be in the woods. All right, so let's see how this thing does these hills here. Dragging on. I think dragging on something. Let's see if I can go down the hill right here. Whee! <laughs> I may have to move the camera for that one. All right, going down the trail here. A minute ago, upon further examination, what I have discovered is the uh, my rear wheel. When I went over that hill, my rear wheel rubbed the trailer, and that that's not bad because the cloth is flexible but bringing a microphone was a double advantage because i can talk to you while i'm riding now the thing about that rear tire rubbing that fabric you know it's okay i'd rather it rub the fabric because the fabric can give and the fabric can be replaced but if it was metal that would slow me down but i think i'm gonna try i can try a few other mods for this a couple of simple brackets and I'll be good to go. And the fact that this thing is a 21 speed is really nice. So let's see how unpacking goes with this thing. What I'm going to do, let's just undo these bungee cords here. All right. Now to keep from losing the bungee cords, let's say that I'm just going to put them up here for now. Well, no, actually, I'm just gonna lay them over the bicycle because I'm gonna untach this thing here in a minute. Let's see now. That'll be good. Let's pull off the machete and pull off the ax. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can, uh, how it rolls now so that I can roll it over somewhere into where I'm gonna go. And today I'm not going to be using the axe or the machete. I just carried it for in case. But I don't think, after, after showing up at this place, I don't think I'm going to need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo this and just leave the bicycle here on the trail. And then I'm going to see if I can roll it into the campsite and then we'll take the rest of the bungee cords off. All right. And I'll just leave everything right here. All right. So what I'm going to do with this is pull this off. And then I'm going to put these back on so that I don't lose them. And then I'm gonna try to pull these things, uh, I'm gonna pull what I need into the trail, all right? So what I wanna do is I wanna set up campsite. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a small tarp right here where I can see it and where I can get to it with the camera. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see how good this thing, how good I can drag it through that brush right there pulling behind me. So now as far as filming goes, I think this is a much better spot, all right? Because the bicycle is over on the other side and I could have never got the bicycle through there, but I didn't have to tote my gear because it's on wheels, all right? So let me flip this viewfinder over, make sure that I've got everything in, in sight. Yeah, it looks like I do. Go down a little bit. There, now I got everything in sight. All right, so let's unload it. All right, so what we got, I got my bungee cords, I'm going to take them off, lay them right there. 
right. Let's see. All right. Pull these off. Now, I got my bag here. I got a duffel bag here. And I got a backpack. All right, so let's move this thing to the side off the trail. Let's take a peek at what we got in the bag here. I think somewhere in here there's supposed to be a tarp. Ah, there they are. Got a tarp. All right, I got my shelter kit. It's got paracord and stuff in it. Got some stakes for if I need them. Or some water. And then here is my tarp. All right, so that takes care of that bag. All right, let's just set this stuff to the side. Now I'm going to get out some paracord and string it up and set this tarp up. So let's throw this tarp over this. It's a huge tarp. Let's just say that's going to be my shelter. <clears throat> I'll tie the roof up later. Now I'm not going to tie the roof up right now because I just want to see, I want a nice place to put all this gear and to see how this table is going to work. So what I'm going to do, it's as simple as this. Now let's say I've got my roof up overhead okay but i'm not even going to fool that right now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to bring everything inside here and set it down all right now let's see how the table does a position where i think i can see you so now what we're going to do all right now i like i had said i think i said earlier i had mentioned now let's say that i've got Let's say that this is going to be my tarp shelter, okay? I'm going to have a nice place to put everything. All right, I've got my sleeping bag in there, so that's irrelevant right now. So, let's see what we can do here. All right, I can have, it can be raining, it can be snowing. I'm going to have my shelter up overhead. Now, let's see how this does, okay? I have a place to put my machete. I have a place to put my little cordage bag here. All right, now let's look and see how this table does. And there may be some more modifications in the future. I don't know. And another thing that I was saying is that I don't know. There may be a possibility in the future that I can do something with this end here and maybe, maybe make this into some kind of bed. I don't know. For now, it's just a table. So let's see how this sets. That ain't bad. It's not bad at all. That's not too bad, but it kind of makes me nervous. So what I'm going to do is put all my stuff out here on the table here. All right, see? Now I don't have to have everything laying all over the floor of my campsite, which is very cool. Now, I am absolutely not going to eat MREs on this video, but I have MREs with a heater for in case it rains or snows and I can't have a fire. Okay. Now, I think inside here, let's look and see what's inside here. Now, if I have to, if I, I can bring extra plates or I can bring pots, pans, things. And those are the things that I can use that give me increased stability here for setting things up. That seems to set pretty good right there. Now, say, look at this. I'm used to having just stuff laying everywhere. Let's try this side here. Now, see, this is wonderful. This is great. See, if I had a... I wouldn't... And I could baton wood and lay wood across here and even have some sort of an alcohol stove here if I wanted to. So, yeah, I think this is great. This is fantastic. And I can be here and I can do this and I can do that. And I can go through all my kits, you know. I can do whatever I want to and I've got a nice table here. So... I think it's a success. I think it's done fantastic. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. The cloth worked out. The cloth was kind of bothering me. So I can have cups here, have a cup of coffee or whatever. I got some bigger plates, and what I think I'll do is I'll bring the plates 
and I can use the plates for setting things on or you know maybe baton wood so far I think I think this is great this is gonna be so cool <laughs> have a nice place to sit and eat and set my gear all righty so here we go now <clears throat> I got the roof up ah. I got the roof up I got the roof overhead you probably can't see anything because it's darker in here now so what I could do now is just kind of move these bags around Let's see here. Let's pull out the old uh, sleeping bag we have here. Let's see. Now, how did I do this? Let's undo this. I think this is great because if you look around, this is basically a very large, nice campsite. And honestly, I could have brought a whole lot more gear. And it all fit on the bicycle. And the beauty of it, like I said, is if you can't, if you can't get on the trail, or if you can't, or, or if you can't, if you can't, if your bicycle won't handle the entire trail, then you I have just essentially turned my trailer into a pair of hand trucks. So let's pull this out. What is in there? Okay, that's extra clothing. There's my pillow right there. All right, and here is my bed right here behind. Uh, behind my table <laughs> ain't that neat all right as far as I'm concerned old Dave is in the lap of luxury oh and what I'm planning on doing this was a test oh this was a test and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna really gonna pick out some gear and I'm gonna pick out a good spot that's got some terrain that I can really test the bicycle with and uh i'll go from there this is just a test run to make sure that nothing broke and everything worked right so all right this thing is just this is the ultimate attachment for a bicycle as far as i'm concerned <laughs> so i had a lot of fun with this i hope y'all had fun get out enjoy life have your own adventure if you got a day off from work enjoy it <laughs> and we shall see you in the next one